It's a question that's plagued mankind since the very beginning. Should you make your own pineapple juice from scratch or should you use a store-bought variety? Well, today we will make our own pineapple juice and we'll do a taste test against the cold pressed pineapple juice and the canned variety as well. Now, most of you are gonna have access to fresh pineapples and for some of us, it's kind of year round. They're just often in the grocery stores. Otherwise, you're pretty much always going to find canned pineapple juice. Usually they're coming in those smaller dull cans that you'll find at the grocery store. Or if you go to your grandparents' house, you'll probably find a can from the 1970s. More recently, you'll see in grocery stores and places like Trader Joe's, a cold pressed variety as well. Now for the most part here making cocktails, I use the cold pressed variety. It's just really easy. They're not cheap. I think they come in two to $3 for this small bottle but they also will last in your refrigerator for about four months unopened. Opened, I don't know, I usually don't keep them open for very long, but you can also uh, empty the contents after you use it for a cocktail and freeze it. We'll make our own pineapple juice and then we'll do a taste test against these two. So if you're into making cocktails, you can save these and freeze them if you want to, but for right now, I'm just gonna cut off the top and cut off the bottom. Yeah, since I make cocktails and I need garnishes and I don't always have fresh pineapple, I'm gonna take the top layer here and cut about half an inch. And I just quartered it and you can uh, cut this down farther, but what I'll do is I'll just put this in a Ziploc bag and then when I need it, I can have some garnishes for a cocktail. So I'm just gonna save these, set these aside for now. All right, I'm gonna cut this down and I'm gonna remove a lot of the rind, but we don't have to do that fine of a job. We're gonna blend it and I'm gonna leave the core intact and just sort of take off the exterior of the rind. Now I find that doing kind of smaller chunks like this helps to blend it. Your blender's gonna have a hard time until it gets out some of the liquid from the pineapple. The smaller pieces, the better, especially if you're using an older blender that's not as powerful as like a Blendtec or a Vitamix. That seems easy enough, but it's not. It's full of pulp, so we need to strain it. You can try a fine mesh strainer. I found that that doesn't work. There's just too much pulp in here. So what I do is I use um, it's a nut milk bag or jelly making bag. I find these on Amazon for five to 10 bucks. They last forever. I've had these for a decade. It's a slow process, but as I sort of move the pulp down, I just kind of twist the bag to put more pressure on the bag. If you're using a cheesecloth or a fine mesh strainer, uh, you're gonna wanna be more careful if you're using a bag that's not super strong because you can rip a hole in it. And you'll kind of get to the point where you're squeezing and you know it feels like there's liquid inside and nothing's coming out. You can just kind of reposition it. Um, the bag's probably getting a little bit clogged. This also comes down to your patience level because uh, I'm pretty impatient. So you could sit here for another 10 minutes and do this, but I think I'm good. I've got enough juice there to where I feel good about it. And I'm done. That's pretty good. I mean, I did take off that slice of pineapple, but uh, could have got a full bottle here if I kept squeezing at it. So let's um, open these up and give a taste test. 
The Trader Joe's cold press one does have some pulp, so I'm gonna fine strain it just so it's a little more consistent with the rest. All right, let's start with the canned. Definitely doesn't smell good. It's not unpleasant, but this is not something that I would wanna drink on its own. As all things, when we're taste testing ingredients of a cocktail, you have to remember we're talking about a small piece of a cocktail. But when it comes to pineapple juice, that piece is often important because we're often using one to three ounces. So the quality of your juice is a little more important when you're talking about pineapple juice. Cold pressed. It has a better mouthfeel. There's more, it's more like of a viscous syrup-like texture. The flavor is more muted, but tastes fresh. This tastes a little more concentrated flavor. It's not from concentrate, but it just feels like this flavor is a little more condensed. Now I've made fresh pineapple juice. I know it tastes good. I'm secretly hoping that this one is just as good as this one because um, I like the ease of buying these. It's, uh, it's much better. This one's not as cold as the others. So uh, I did my, I kept my pineapple in the fridge though. So it's a, it's a lot better. It's just a lot more of a pure pineapple taste. Well, there you go. Fresh pineapple juice, cold pressed pineapple juice, and canned pineapple juice. Which one should you go with? I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. This is the best. This tastes the best. This one is close, but not as good. This one is pretty far off. But if I was trying to make a cocktail in a hurry, I would not care if I had to use the canned cocktail variety. I think it tastes fine. Also, you might not have the cold press variety at your local grocery store. Now for me, I don't go out and buy pineapples to juice them. I usually buy a pineapple to eat or maybe I actually want some of the pineapple fronds or the pineapple leaves for garnishes. And then if I have a pineapple that I can see is kind of approaching the stage where we're probably not gonna eat it, that's when I would juice it. Now weeknight, weekend cocktail, I would not care at all. But if you have a certain drink that you are really trying to, I think maybe perfect, let's say you're really working on making the best version of the pina colada. That's where I would probably get into making them with different versions here. But truth be told, they're all gonna work fine. Definitely the best though. If you want the best and only the best, then juice your own pineapples. So that's it for this one. I'm Derek, this is Make and Drink. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Here's a couple more videos for you to choose from. See you in the next one.